All right, so I have an inbox too many, and I'm making this video to help out a friend. He wants to understand how to use the mix knob. If you guys out there have an inbox and you guys are really not sure how to use this and what it does, basically it gives you zero latency. That's what it's for. What happens if you don't use this the proper way when you are using your microphone, audio's coming into here, then it's going into Pro Tools and it's coming right back out of Pro Tools back into your interface and that's causing a lot of latency. So what we want to do, we just want to hear the audio right away. Instead of it touching Pro Tools or whatever DAW, we just want to hear it right away. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So over here I have a track. All right, so the camera are finally focused. As you can see, I have the track, it's ready to record, and it's also muted. So, hello, audio, testing, audio, audio. As you hear, you could still hear me. You're wondering, wait a minute, the track is muted, yes. But the mix knob is allowing you to hear the direct signal. So it's not touching the door. But if I unmute this, audio, audio, you're hearing the latency. Because now you're hearing the direct sound and you're hearing the sound coming out of Pro Tools. Nice. So that's how you use the mix knob. Make sure the track's muted. When you're listening to a... Uh, the instrumental or whatever uh, beat you're working with, just adjust this, just get the right balance. All right, so that's how you use the mix knob. Now, if you wanna take it a step further, you can get an interface like uh, the C600. That's the one I currently use, and let me tell you, it allows you to do the same thing, but you could put some delay, some reverb, and still hold that uh, zero latency, which is awesome. You can't do that with this. So before it touches Pro Tools, you can add a little bit of delay or a little bit of reverb. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can get an Apollo. Now, this thing is awesome. It'll allow you to do everything I just talked about, but it would allow you to track with plugins on, which is awesome. So, you could open an LA-2-way or 1176 and actually record through it with zero latency. Awesome. But anyway, if you have any questions, post in the bottom. Somewhere on the screen, you're going to have a subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Check out the Twitter. Check out the Google+.